on game night. Nikki, Lincoln, Mike, and Dave are going to play Clank, a game for two to four dungeon thieves. Published by Direwolf and Renegade and designed by Paul Denon. So let's steal some of the dragon's artifacts. Hey, Dave. Lincoln. Will you teach us clank? Clank! I will. Oh, man. All right. In clank, we are all thieves and we are trying to go into the dragon's dungeon, steal an artifact, and then make our way back to the top with that artifact. You have hmm. basically two goals in this game. The first goal is to collect an artifact and get out. Okay. And then the second goal is to have the most points at the end of the game. All right? Okay. There are six or seven artifacts. I've already forgotten count, but they look like this. They're face up, and they have the victory points on them. This one is the highest one, worth 30. Ooh, it's like six. This is the smallest nope. one, worth five. Okay. All right? You can only carry one artifact, and you can't drop seven, one yeah. once you pick it up. So once you pick an artifact, it is yours, okay. and that is your artifact. Clearly the 30-point artifact is harder to get and then escape with than the five. So if you want to run for the five and get out, you can try that. That might work. Who knows? It's a standard deck building game in what you know. We're going to start with ten cards. Six of these burgles, two stumbles, a sidestep, and a scramble. You're going to shuffle them up. You're going to draw five. And on your turn, you're going to take your hand of five cards, and you are going to play all of your cards. Now, this is where the game is slightly different from deck building games. In this game, you are going to play all your cards. So, unless you will draw cards later that allow you to discard cards from your hand and do certain things, there is no reason to put them necessarily one at a time on the table. You might as well just put them all out because you have to play them all. And the reason that you have to play them all is that these stumble cards, for example, say on them, plus one clank. That is bad. Clank is bad Making in this game. Noise. Clank is you are a thief, but you've made noise. Oh, okay. And a plus one clank is to take one of your clank cubes and put it right here on this flag. Okay. That's a bad thing because when the dragon attacks, when the, the queen dragon who lives in this dungeon attacks us, we are going to take all of the cubes that are on the flag and put them in this bag. The bag starts seated with these 25 black cubes, but I've laid them out now so we can just see them. And then, depending on where this marker is, it's gonna start here for a four player game, we're gonna draw two cubes one at a time. If it's a black cube, no harm, no foul. If it is one of your cubes, it goes here from the bag on your health track. Mm -mm. Oh. If your health track reaches this little skull symbol, Skullses. you are knocked out. You are not dead, you are knocked out. You can be knocked out and still win the game. Okay. I will get to that later when we talk about how you win the game. Okay. So, Clank is not great, but clearly Clank is going to go there during the game whether you like it or not. The, um, let me talk about the symbols on these cards that you're going to use. There are three symbols that happen in this game. They are skill, that is this blue number in the sort of tr triangle, size, little yeah, diamond. Diamond rotated square. Uh, that's essentially money, that's what you're going to use to get more cards, all right? Okay. The cost of the cards are down here in the lower corner. All right, there are these boots, as Nancy Sinatra has told us all. They were, in fact, made for walking. That is how you are going to move through the dungeon. Okay. All right, and finally, there are swords. Uh, we don't start with any swords, mm -hmm. right? No. no. But swords are how you defeat these monsters. Okay. Okay? Um, and you will need this number of swords to defeat this monster. This guy just needs two swords. This guy needs one. There is a goblin over here that you can defeat for two swords. These are also cards, by the way, you can buy. This is the dungeon deck. These cards are all different and um, special and have varying different degrees of powers and things that happen, and they get refilled at the end of your turn if there are holes. These are just always here. Okay. Okay. And, and, they're all the the, and they're all the same. The goblin never goes away. Mm. You can fight the goblin as many times as you want on your turn. And we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, but the reward for fighting the goblin is a gold. 
this is gold over here, even though this is silver, it's all considered gold, it's money. And if you had four swords, you could fight the goblin twice and get two gold on your turn. Mm -hmm. All right? So, those are the symbols. Let's talk about movement. We all start above. That is also where we want to end up once we pick up our artifact on that space above the dungeon. Every movement from one room to another is one boot for each of those tunnels. You can only move, of course, to where the rooms are connected by a tunnel. If a tunnel has the little two-step thing on it, that needs two boots to go through there. Mm -hmm. All right? If the symbol has this little monster, that means there is a monster in that tunnel. So if you were going to go from this room to this room through this tunnel, you would need a boot. And if you went from here to here and there was a monster in there, you would take one damage. Or if you had a sword in your array, you could use a sword to fight that monster. You don't get anything for it, you just don't take the damage. Okay. But you can willingly take the damage if you're saving the swords for other reasons. Okay. All right? You cannot, however, willingly take your last damage by that. Okay. Yes, mm. your question. Uh, when you take damage, you said you pull these out. If you take damage this way, you take one of these cubes in front of you and you put it on this track. Okay. Okay? If you run out of these cubes, which is unlikely but possible, then when you have things that say add clank, you mm -hmm. don't have to. Okay. I think you're in a bad situation in that space. I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, there are tunnels that have these little locks on them. Mm -hmm. Those tunnels are locked and you can't get through unless you have one of the master keys. There are only two of those in the game. Mm and they're here in the market, which I have not explained yet. And last but not least, there are tunnels that are one way, mm -hmm. as indicated by the arrow, meaning you can go that way, but not back the other way. Okay. There is also one tunnel right here that wraps around. This tunnel goes to this end of the board. That's that little finger symbol. Okay. That just indicates this tunnel wraps around. So from here to here is a one movement. Okay. All right? Another thing you need to know about boots are these little crystal ice caves. When you enter a crystal ice cave, you may no longer use boots on your turn. You are done using boots. <laughs> All right? There is a teleport card in this deck somewhere. You can teleport out of the crystal ice cave, but even having done that, you still can't use any more boots that turn. It's as if all of your boots got taken Bo away from you. Booted away. Booted and away in the ice cave. As you're trying to steady yourself, right? you get frozen boots. Frozen boots. <laughs> all right. Uh, skill is what, as I said, essentially the monetary unit for buying these cards down here. These cards, these blue bannered cards, are cards that you buy, and like most standard deck building games, they go immediately into your discard pile mm -hmm. to be reshuffled back in when you need them. The purple cards, however, are devices. They are one-time use, and you don't actually add the card. You pay the four skill, you do the thing on the card, and then this moves here to this discard pile. It does not go in your deck. Okay. This device, for example, for four skill is you can take two gold or you can trash a card in your play area or your discard pile. Okay. So a device is an interesting way to not maybe gum up your hand and keep your deck thin. Um, and also maybe give you a power that you want, assuming mm -hmm. that you can afford it. Mm -hmm. All right. The other thing, because you're playing all your cards at once, the way the game is designed is in sort of this very friendly way in which everything kind of all happens in any order that you want and things can happen retroactively. It's a way of sort of making the game more friendly, but it also is potentially a little confusing because, for example, here is the gem collector. The gem collector's power is minus two clank. So if this were my hand, I have plus one clank, minus two clank. Mm -hmm. So let's say I would plus one clank, I'd put one here, minus two, let's assume this one wasn't here from previous, but there was only one there. So I would take one of those back. Now I'm gonna take my turn, because I haven't moved yet, and let's say in the process of moving, I will flip a token, which I haven't gotten to, or, do a, or buy a card, or do a thing that causes me to get another clank. I can get rid of one of those still, I still have minus one more clank. Okay. So you're not beholden to turn order on how the cards get played, which is why they recommend that unless you are specifically using a card from your hand that allows you to discard a card, it's just easier to just play all your cards to the table. Similarly, all of the things you have are one giant pool of those things. So this is four skill, I can spend it any way I want. I can spend two, then I can move, 
And if I'm somewhere else where something happens, I can spend skill again. Swords are the same way, boots are the same way. Okay. It's all one giant pool of stuff that you have to use on that turn. All right? Um, the only thing that you can't retroactively do is if you go through a tunnel with a monster and you get to a space that manages to generate a sword for you, you cannot retroactively say, oh, I'm not taking this hit because I just picked up the sword. All right. Let's talk about the tokens. There are small mystery tokens, that's what these are, and there are large mystery tokens, that's what these are. They are all good. Some of them are better than others. Some of them will be better in certain situations when you pick them up than others, but since you don't know what they are, it doesn't really matter. But what I'm telling you is they're all good. Okay. As a general rule, you want them. I'll just explain them when, they flip, when we flip them up, mm -hmm. but some of them are like, have healing, some of them have gold, some of them have victory points, some of them give you extra speed or some more cards, some of them are immediate, some of them are hold till later. Mm -hmm. All right? Arguably, there is one minor secret that is potentially bad, and that is there's a dragon egg, and when you draw it, it advances this one. I have not explained this track yet, but this is, well I have actually, this is the number of cubes that get drawn from the bag every time there's a dragon attack. But this is gonna advance anyway, and the dragon egg is worth three victory points. So, they're all basically good. The rule of picking up tokens is that you can only pick up a token when you move into a room, and you can only take one. So, when you enter a room with the minor secrets here, you're basically just gonna take the top one, and that's gonna be your token. Um, additionally, are there any other spaces that have, there aren't really any other spaces that have, oh, yes, the monkey idols over here. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil monkey idols. Those are worth five points, and you can only pick up one when you move into that room. But if you can cycle back around to that room, even in the same turn, you can get another one. You can always exit a room and come back into it to pick up a second mm -hmm. token. But you can never pick up more than one token when you enter a room. But that's not taking... That's not taking one idol and leaving, it's, that, that's two then? So if you went into here, you could take a token, right? If you could somehow find your way back to it, you but could take another But isn't that a treasure? One. No. Oh, okay. That's, so that's an additional plus to your treasure tokens? Artifacts, that's artifacts, what these are called, okay. artifacts. This actually is a treasure, but treasures aren't the same as artifacts. Okay. You can only hold one artifact. Why would they have the artifact. same color on them though? I don't get that. I don't know, but they're different shapes. They're circles yeah, as true, opposed true. to. True. All right? Hexagon. Um, I've explained that, I've explained that. The market. There are four market spaces, and when you're in a market space, you can buy any of the items in the market, and you can buy as many as you want, as many as you can afford. Mm -hmm. And again, let me just make sure, let me have a, a pawn up there, anyone. So if you, if you move into this on your turn, Lincoln, and you draw one of these, at the beginning of your next turn, you cannot draw one again. Right. Because again, you have to move you into to that enter. room. Yep. Right. But in the market, you can be in the market and buy something on your next turn, if you have money, you can be in the market and you can stay there and buy something again. Because the market is purchasing, it's not, actually that's not even the market, that's the market. These four spaces are all the market. The market has three items that you can buy. There are two keys, I've already explained, those unlock the thing and they're also each worth five points. There are two backpacks. A backpack allows you to carry a second artifact. Mm. And in and of itself is also worth five points. And then there are three crowns. The crowns are worth 10, nine, and eight victory points. You just take the most valuable one when you're there. In addition to the crowns being victory points, crowns will affect some of these cards. Okay. I don't know exactly how many or what the cards are because I've just known the rules that that can happen, but I've not gone through this deck to look at every card. But gold is straight up victory points as well. So every time you're spending seven gold, you are spending seven victory points to do something. Just be aware of that. Okay. All right? That so is anything you buy is seven gold? Anything you buy in the market costs seven. And in any so at least there's a gain on these. This enables you to do something, and then this enables you to carry more. So Correct. that's why those are... Correct. Okay, that goes up there. If you move into a little healing room, you take a cube off your little track and put it in front of you. That's a heal. Mm -hmm. um, there are these cards that I did not explain. So these are also cards that you can buy. Mm -hmm. The Secret Tome costs seven skill. It's worth seven victory points. 
I didn't explain, but this is going to be end game victory points for these cards that have them on them. All victory points are in that green circle. Mm -hmm. It does nothing else. It just it gums up your hand. It's mm -hmm. like buying a, a province or so an it costs estate. seven to get seven points. Seven yeah. skill. Oh, to get seven. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Additionally, this explorer is always going to be here. This mercenary is always going to be here. And as I said, the goblin is always there to fight. Do you have to have a a, a uh, artifact to even win the game? Yes. Okay. So there's two things you have to do. You have to have an artifact, and you have to get out of the dungeon. Yes. So let's talk about getting out of the dungeon. The most obvious way is you make your way back to the top. All right? Through, if, through here. Correct. Yep. And then you go to land. If you do that, you pick up one of those mastery tokens, and they're worth 20 points, which is pretty significant. Mm -hmm. But if you get knocked out, and you have an artifact, and you are above this line in the dungeon, which is to say you are not in the depths of ground. the dungeon, you are considered salvageable okay. by the townspeople, and they come and rescue you, and they bring you to the top. You do not get a mastery token, but you are now still eligible to count your victory points at the end of the game and see if you've won. Okay. When the first person makes it out of the dungeon or gets knocked out and either completely is knocked out, meaning they're below, or they're above and they get taken regardless, that person's pawn is put in the first space of that, this little track over here. If Mike is the first person to either get knocked out or leave, he's there. Then it'll be my turn, then Nikki's turn, then Lincoln's turn. Then on Mike's turn, he moves one space on the countdown track. And there's a dragon attack at whatever this is, plus one. Hmm. Next time it's Mike's turn, there's a dragon attack at whatever this is, plus two. And then next turn, dragon attack, plus whatever this is, plus three. And next turn, everybody's knocked out if you're in the dungeon. You're just automatically knocked out wherever you are. So as long as you are not in the depths of the dungeon and above ground, you are still eligible to win. Okay. So that's the time clock for the game. The game will end when all players either get out or all players get knocked out. All right? Okay. So let's talk about dragon attacks. Let me read something from the rules. The queen of dragon keep is Nico Traxian, or Nico Traxian, but we just call her Nikki. <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah. She's not going to like us sneaking around in her dungeon. I wouldn't. That, so I that, wouldn't like I'd be that. pissed too. So that every time we take something of hers, the dragon egg, as I said, or every time you pick up an artifact, this also moves one. Okay. Every time we take something of hers, she gets mad, and this her rage, this is her rage track, becomes enraged. And every time we need to fill in cards down here, and the new card has this dragon attack symbol on it, that's a dragon attack. So this, for example, late in the game, might be a reason you don't buy a card from here, because you don't want one of those to come up. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how many of those come up if we need three cards to be filled in, and, well, I didn't get lucky, but if two dragon symbols come up, it's still one dragon attack. Okay. It just happens once, but it does happen. All right? Dave, I have a question. Yes, Mike? Does the dragon attack, does it move and then attack, or does it just attack with the level it's at? Mm -hmm. It attacks at the level it's at. Okay. The only time this moves is when an artifact or an egg is taken from the dungeon. When okay. we take stuff from the dungeon, this enrages the Queen Nikki. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And actually there's one more thing and then we can start and that is some of these cards. This card says danger on it. That's an extra, when a dragon attack happens, for every danger, there's three of these out here now, that's an extra cube, extra cube, extra cube. All right? Some of these cards say Arrival on them, on the bottom. Arrive. All players get one clank. When this card shows up in the array, mm -hmm. that happens. And then this card says Acquire, plus two clank. That happens when you buy this card. I laid these out because I wanted you to see them, and because I didn't explain this, but when a dragon attack happens, all the cubes that are here go in the bag first. Then we draw. Oh, okay. Okay. So do I need to put the, them in the bag now? Sure, if you want. Okay. Before I turn over six, are you just running a start player, or are you just shuffling your things? I'm just shuffling my cards. Hey, if only we had a bag we could draw start player tickets from. Oh, we put all the black cubes in there already. You want to pull them out? Nah. I can use a pull them out. Okay. Good. 
put all those pawns in there and pick a star player, Mike. Well, he's going to draw his out, and he'll be the sneakiest one. <laughs> that would make him the sneakiest if he drew yeah. his own. Okay, here we go. Blue starts. No. Okay. All right, so, Nikki. Yes. Three of your clanks go here. Lincoln, two. Mike, one. That's horrible. She just, just by running ahead, she's clanked it. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. We're now going to put six cards out here. If any dragon attack cards come out, they get reshuffled back in. But all the other effects do happen. So there's an elven cloak. Minus two clank and draw a card. Tattle. Each other player gets a clank. Dwarven peddler. Two gold. It's worth four points. If you have two of the following by the end of the game, you can read that when you get it. That's why it's got a question mark in here. There's a golem. If you you can only fight this in the crystal cave. And if you can defeat him, you get three skill. In the crystal cave or a crystal cave. A crystal cave. cave. Okay. The wand of wind. Here you go. Teleport to an adjacent room. Um, so when you teleport, it has to be an adjacent room. And adjacent in this game is connected by a tunnel. Not, like, this room is not adjacent to this room. And last but not least, hey, we didn't do anything crazy. Invoker of the Ancients, plus one clank, but you can teleport to an adjacent room. It's cheaper. This is teleport to an adjacent room or take a secret from an adjacent room. Ooh. Shuffle. All right, sneakiest player. I guess. Shuffle your thing. Sure. Draw five. And play them out. Oh, this card says companion. This card says companion. There are cards in here that have to do with companions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to lay them out in front yep. of me, like you said. I got two burglars. A st stumble and stumble, sidestep, side and, and a scramble. Okie doke. Like scrambled eggs. All right, so plus one clank. So okay. go ahead and put one so over there. One. On the flag over there. Now? And now you that's got. That's that one. Yep. So you got two movement and three skill, and you can spend those in any way you want. Okay. So what did that one say at the bottom? Uh, if you wanted to get away, you would have kept quiet. Okay. <laughs> uh, Okay, so these are the skills in the blue, yep. and then the movement is uh, that. Correct. And I am up at the top. Right. Well, I gotta start heading down. Yep. Move or two, I guess. That's just that one path at the mm -hmm. beginning. Correct. There's nowhere exciting. You are to now go. in a decision point for your next turn. Okay. You don't have any more movement. If you had one more boot, you could move to the crystal cave, but you could not move to where the secrets were because that tunnel needs two boots. Okay. That's my move then, right? Yep, that's your boots anyway. No, you still have three skill to spend. Oh, sorry. You can buy one of the cards down So the you can buy this card only down here, or you can buy Explore. this Explorer or this Mercenary. Okay, that'll give me two movement. That's two, or two skills and a movement. This won't give me any movement. This each, gives you two skill and everyone else gets a clank. Each other clank. player gets a clank. Yeah. Those are a little tricky. This this gives you two swords. Yeah. Yes. I think ah, I yeah. want the boots. You I don't want you, swords. I think you do. Okay. No, I well, think. Well, I, I kind of. I'm already so much blue in there. I. Yep, I would agree. This would make everybody else have a clank when I mm -hmm. played it, but I think I want the boot. These boots are made for working. And the two. Okay. So. That goes in your discard pile. No, that's all. And this. you have used all your cards. I've used all my cards. Mm, draw five more, and it's Lincoln's turn. I didn't say this, but obviously, if you need to draw five cards and you don't have enough, you shuffle. You shuffle your discard pile and make it just you to shuffle just and draw. to explain. It's got a lot of burgle. I'm all burgling. It says if they wanted to keep it, they would have nailed it down. That's all right. And then I got a scramble. If they wanted to catch you, they would have built a better trap. So I only get one movement. So I might as well move. Yep. And I have the wonderful purchasing power of five. I don't know that that's Wow, you do have five. That's exciting. Yeah, but How I think do you... I'm in between all those things. That's a monster. If you have three swords, you just defeat this monster. Oh, okay. If you want to spend the swords that way. Mm -hmm. three Can and I buy two? more than one yeah, card? Yeah, totally. Okay. Three and a two, right? Yeah. Or, unless you want one of these fours, minus two clank, draw a card. Uh, this four is, you get two gold when you play it, and then it's worth four. Four points at the end of the game if you have Chalice, Dragon Egg, Monkey Idol. Two, any two of those three. Droven. And this one is plus a clank, but teleport to an adjacent room. What does this little guy mean on this Dwarven 
paddler. That means he's a companion, I think. Oh, okay. That's to okay. let you know when he's in your hand like this. That it's a companion Yeah, part. actually that's very cool. I didn't even realize that. It gives yeah. you that little symbol at the top. That's awesome. That's smart. Yeah. It's exactly the kind of thing all games should do. And the question mark? That's a victory point because this is a variable victory point okay. card. That's worth one victory point. What are you choosing? Sure. Deciding th between Lincoln. I think I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to waste one and maybe get the teleport one on the end. This one? Yeah. Invoker of the Ancients? Because it gives me a victory point and it lets me get, All right. move another spot. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Something good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flying carpet. Ooh, six, 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 six. this turn ignore monsters in tunnels, and you do not have to stop in crystal caves. Ooh. And it has two boots, but it costs six. Right. Right. It ain't cheap. Burgle, burgle, scramble, scramble, stumble, Oof. burgle. Okay. <laughs> so I have four and one boot. Well, I'm gonna go and hang out with you, Lincoln. Hey! Um, four? So. Let me take, uh, I'm gonna waste one. I'll take the tattle. You are gonna be the oh, yeah. mean guy already? I'm the mean guy. All right, okay. tattle, tattle. And add your clank, sir. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Oh! What's that? Mm. What is that symbol? Oh, it's arrive. All players get a clank, so that happens. Right oh. now? Yep. Thank Dave for the it's clank. not me. Well, you flipped the card. Exclamation <laughs> point is to let you know this is an arrive. Oh. This has oh, an immediate I effect. Good icon. Yeah, it's like this. this. Card. Alrighty then. I have a similar hand. Please move me one into the uh, <laughs> dungeon, and I have you to add guys. a clank. He's behind us, though. And I have <laughs> four, and for four, mm -hmm. I will take the elven cloak. This goes over here, and okay. Oh. Here comes the thing. So all the cubes go in the bag. This is the Belcher. What does his thing say at the bottom, Nicky P? Uh, this foul creature is named for its unusual battle cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the belly button well, that does Dave, it. Dave, you turn it over. Well, it's, you your, it's your turn. So as you... far as I'm concerned, you can draw the whole game, unless anyone wants to draw. You're going to draw two. If you draw a black one, it just gets set aside. So before you draw another one, this one's going to get set aside. It's not going back in the bag. So the bag ever, gets... Ever, ever, ever. There ever are cards been. that will put some black cubes back in the mm -hmm. bag, but basically the bag gets uglier and uglier as the game goes on. Okay. Black. All right. I did well. Thank yes, you, Mike. you did. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. All right, Nikki, you're up. Okay. Pretty simple. I still have my generic beginning card. So three burglars and a stumble. So I have to add a clink. And buy something. Okay, okay. For four. Yep. The dwarf does. You can buy the dwarf peddler. Uh, you get two gold, and then it's and it comes with a boot. You <laughs> get two gold, dwarfs, and you no. potentially <laughs> can score four points. Hey, hey, do you need a dwarf? dwarf? If you have you toss a chalice, if you have two of the following three things: chalice, dragon egg, monkey idol. Oh, so I have to get those things. Well, for monkey idol is at? at least a monkey idol is gettable. Whether you get a chalice or a dragon egg, I don't know. Is the um, chalice from the palace? <laughs> and the pestle. pestle in the with vessel. The pestle. Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to buy the Dwarven Peddler. Okay. And are you done with your turn? I'm done with my and turn. Let's see That's what this exciting thing is. Hey, Gem Collector. All right, Gem Collector is minus two clank, and the gems cost two less this turn. Two when you play that. Yep. Okay. I don't see any gems out here. They're, they're cards that are in this deck. Okay. So. Well, this is a... This is a Clumsy turn here. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't have any clank on that first turn. Uh, I'm clanking, clankity clanking. Two, two clankity clanks. This is if you if you wanted to get away, you would have kept quiet. That's so right. Put the two there, like Mike did. And then I got the two burgle, which gives me two buying power, and I ha I can move one because I said so. If they wanted you to stay put, you would have blocked. They would have blocked the path. So I'll move one. Hello, Dicky. Hello. <laughs> um. And I got two, and I will buy, I guess, the mercenary. I think that's it. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's it's a weapon. It's a weapon. Okay. And that is that. There's my two plank. Thank you. There we go. I have one for the stumble. goes in there. I have one movement to hang out with you guys. Yeah. All right. Hey, We're all going to end up there. I know. Uh, and I have three. <laughs> I have three. 
Um, no, I don't know. Um, I will. I will take the explorer. Makes sense. Yeah. Go ahead. I'll do that same thing. One boot, move me one. I had a clank. Good day. And for three, I'll take an explorer. End of turn. Done. All right. Now we have different cards. Well, unfortunately, I have four burgles and a scramble. No, oh, that's that's not good bad at all. So, all right. At least I didn't clank anything. All right. Clank. So, if you want to move, yeah, you can only move down to the crystal cave because you that has you can't see it right now, but it's got two feet. Oh, on it. it has two feet. Right. So, do you want to move? I'm in your way. I'm sorry. Boop. It's okay. I would like to move. Well, there's nothing there. Well, that's, I want to move. You gotta gotta get. Into that dungeon somehow. Take me to the crystal cave. All right. I'm blue. There you go. And now you've got That's five to spend. Five. I'm thinking I should get some mercenary. I could buy two mercenaries if I want. That's a minus clank, though. I keep not getting this. I think I need to get some of this kind of stuff. So when we battle. A beast? Yep. Is it one of the ones down there? No, it's no, just, no. It's just a. Oh, it's just, just one that's it. in the tunnel, and you don't have to fight that one. You, if you don't fight it, you take a hit yep. for moving through that tunnel. Okay, I'm gonna take a explore and a mercenary. Okay. And that is my turn. Is that your turn? That is the turn. My turn. Well, I have not as exciting of a turn, maybe, but I have uh, two burgle. A mercenary, he says, I could help you out, but what's in it for me? Which gives me two to attack if I want to do something like that one. Well, um, you can defeat the... I might do that. I, I'll tell you what it is. It's, it gets you four gold, but you add two clank. Two clank? Because of the could, burp? You could always defeat the goblin for a gold. Okay, and then I have sidestep, which is remove one, and I also can teleport. Ah, okay. Uh, plus one clank, but... Uh, does that let me bypass two? Yes, feet? it does. Okay. Indeed, it does. Hmm. So well, you can teleport first. first move. You can teleport first and then move, or you can. Well, I move. can't use the feats in the. I have to use the teleport. Right. I have to use the feet to get to this room and then play. Uh, no, you could teleport, for example, to this. Well, if you teleport to this room, then you can't use feet. Even with the arrow. Yes, like that? teleporting okay. you can get any connection, but you can teleport to here, and then you could walk to there, or you could walk to there and then teleport to here or here. Yeah, I'm not really certain what's the best places to go, but I will... It might be nice to go on an unbeaten path that the other people are doing, but I don't need to heal. Nope, not I mean, yet. I'm going to walk. I'm going to do what I was saying, okay. which is go here. All right, you can no longer use boots. Yep, which I don't need. And where are you going to teleport to? I'm going to probably teleport to the the chit room. Okay. Pick mm -hmm. it up. what you get? I got plus three, and there's a, Let me see. a oh, little gem. Oh, so we got a a is that the dragon egg? Does it have a little arrow on uh -huh. it? Yeah. Oh, that is the dragon egg. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, okay. Does that push the game over quickly? Is no, it just means we're it just means we're still only drawing two cubes. Okay. But we're just we're moving up the range track. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, and then no, I have the got, two. Yeah. No, you still haven't spent your skill. Oh, I haven't spent money. And you have three either. skill. So, um, four gold plus two clank if you want. That's happening. You're gonna do that? Yep. Okay. So. You have defeated this guy. He just goes in a discard pile. We'll just do that over here, let's say. Mm. All right. And then I will spend three, two. Four gold. Thank you, Mike. There you go. Sorry. Explore, I guess. That one's a more purchasing power. Is that the deal? Yep. Yes. I think that's what I want. Okay. okay. Go ahead and, and add your clank. Clankity. And here's the new card. It is Scepter of the Ape Lord. Mm. Plus three clank. Ooh. But it is three points and three skill. Sure that you know those are your. That's, that's your gold. Oh, gold. okay. That's my Maybe gold. Maybe move those twenty. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't like away from you. Okay. So uh, I stumble twice. Oh, uh, Mike. I know. I have one movement oh, and four here. buying power. Right, because that's what you get when you get here, correct? So Dave? I don't know. Yes. I gotta go. Yeah, down put them there. That's fine. Um, four buying power. I don't think the gem collector is very good. It's gonna be great. It's minus two clank. It's gonna be great when gems come up. It is two. It's worth two. Uh, two victory two points and two power. But it does add a card if you don't want to do that. I kind of want you to do that. I want to put those cubes in the bag right now. <laughs> oh wait, I'm wrong. I don't want you to do that. 
I don't know. So I got an egg. Uh, yep. and that, oh, that's what did you said an egg right. would do that. Yep. But you got three points that you can never lose that are yours for the I'm rest a, of the game. I'm gonna buy two mercenaries. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Uh, burgle, elven cloak, scramble, burgle, burgle. So, the elven cloak is minus two clank and draw a card. So, I'm going to draw a card. Ah! Well, I guess that works out. There's plus one clank. I was hoping for a boot. So that goes there, but minus two clank. Those come off. And I have one movement, so move me to that crystal cave. Okay. And I have five to spend, and I will take this in a mercenary. So there you go. I didn't get the gem collector as it is. And Nikki, it's your turn. Okay. First, I'm going to stumble, so let me get that in there. And then I am burgle, burgle. And I'm sidestepping. So I get two. I get it. Two boots. Yep. So I'm going to go down to the red and get yep. that token. Yep. What is it? Two. Okay, that's just two gold. Two gold? Yep. Do I just leave it yep. as the gold itself? It's as if you had two gold. Okay, and now I have four so have to buy gold. something. Yep. So that's six. I was thinking that that looked pretty neat out. Gem collector seems like it'd be pretty good. Which wears? He's over here. here. Do you have four? It's two buying it's power. It's four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And minus two clank. Minus two clank, which is good. And yeah, believe me, I, I and would love to And gems cost two, assuming Just gems come up. Clankety clank over here. Yep. We're noisy. Okay. I'll do that one. Okie doke. And, and you did all your movement, right? Yep, I'm all right. done. Here we go. Hey, teleporter. This is a device, so you don't add this. For four skill, you just teleport to an adjacent room. Okay. Wow, nice. Anywhere? Oh. Yep. Adjacent. 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 Oh. Guys, guys. Clanking it up again. Guys, adjacent. I think I'm going to end the game here, clanking it. (laughs) And then I got three burgles. Uh, Three skill. What's the scepter of the... Plus three clank. Yeah, I know. It's three three skill and three points. It's it's a lot of buying power, right? It'll get you to the bigger cards, but... It's, It's noisy. But it's very noisy. Those apes don't mess around. I'll take it. Oh, I love it. I love it. No, no. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I thought you were adding clank for the card. Nope. Hey, cleric of the sun. When you acquire this card, you gain a health. Okay. None of us need that right now, but it might be valuable later. Okay. And it's also a thing and thing with the stuff. Tattle. Tattle. Oh, Uh-oh. burgle. Okay. Screw you and your burgle. tattle card. Yeah, that's everybody. Okay, Has everyone to else a gets clank. a clank. What? Yep. That's what Tattle does. I I have one movement. I have one movement and no no fighting. That sucks. So here we go. Ow. Ah! Take a hit. Take a hit. Hey, you might just get that right back again. Okay. Uh, Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. What's worth six? All right. Teleport to an adjacent room or take a secret from an adjacent room. Okay. Flying carpet is. Two boots, and this turn you ignore monsters and tunnels, and you do not have to stop in crystal caves. I'll take the wand, please. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. I had to take it. All right. Oh, man. The rug. Cleric of the Sun. You get that health back if you got it right now. Uh, that's my six. You're done, right? I'm done. All right. For Rebel Miner. Okay, so here you go. This is two gold, and if you have another companion in your play area, you draw a card. And similar to the dragon attacks, if you have three companions in your play area, you don't draw three cards. It's just, as long as you have at least one companion, you draw a card. Mm. All right, this is me. Is that you? This is me. Clank. I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna spend the four to use the teleporter device to go back here where I never should have left. Why? Because I figured I had boots coming up, and I thought I could take that path if I had just okay. waited, but I wasn't patient. So I'm now going to use my two boots to move straight across. This goes in the discard pile, and I get... Hey, it's an egg, egg. and this goes up. <laughs> I think that's the last one of these. I think there's only two of them, and them's, them's it. Okay. And I already spent all my skill down here. Let's see what happens. Sleight of hand. Okay. This is discard a card to draw two cards. Now, this is the way that you can get 
the plus one or plus two or plus three clank cards out of your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once this is in your deck, this is where they, they suggest, now don't play them all out to the table. Oh. Even though you can still. Mm -hmm. But that is how you can get a bad clank card such that you don't have to play it. It just mm -hmm. goes into your discard pile. Correct. And you don't, you you don't lose it, you just don't have to play it that round. Ah. All right, done. Okay. First I'm gonna stumble. <laughs> First I'm gonna stumble. First. I was petrified. That's right. Three burglars. By my side. And my dwarf peddler. Dwarven peddler. So I get two gold right now yep. for you just, just having it. it. Here you go. Okay. Collect, collect. Wonderful. And then I am moving one. So I could go down here if I wanted to. Yeah. Because there's no cost in the movement there. Correct. Okay. Uh, I am blue. Yeah. Why are you blue? I am blue. Now. Now. Do you want to pick up that artifact? It is the lowest valued artifact, and if you sure. pick it up, you won't be able to do another one unless you get a backpack. You Can might I? want the golden bananas. <laughs> golden bananas. It's for the monkeys. Lucky monkeys. It's a winning move. <laughs> If she can get there. I'm just teasing. No. Okay. Um, just moving along. Okay. And then I got three to spend. So I could just get another explorer. I could get this take heart lady. You could. You won't get anything out of it. You won't get this out of it, but you will get that out of it when it comes up in your thing. The two and the sword, right? Yep. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Okie doke. And you're done with your whole thing. I am done Go with ahead. my whole turn. Elven boots. Draw a card. Okay, well, hey, guess what? I'm stumbling again. <laughs> we stumble a lot. Yes. Thump. Clank. Wow. And then I got four, uh, I got one movement and four uh, skill. Okay. Um, and it's seven to buy, so there's no point in going to the store yet. Yeah. It's tough to get gold because you have to have the cards that... You have to either be defeating monsters for it, or you have to have, like Nikki had a card that mm -hmm. just generates money when she gets it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Too many choices. I think Nikki's going the right way, though, at least for me. All right. One. Do you want the ring? Do you want to no, pay I do not want the All ring. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then I have four to spend. Yep. Elven Boots gives me, just to draw an extra card. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, and it also has a boot and a skill yeah. on it. What's and it's the... worth two points. Sleight of hand, what was that one again? Discard a card to draw two cards. That's pretty awesome. It's good for someone who's got the plus three clank in his hand. Yeah. yeah. Except that it doesn't, you I, mean, to, I don't get to use the three gold, or the three purchasing power from the clank, so. Oh, that has it, oh, that's right. That's why I have that card. Oh, fair enough. And what's the rebel miner? Rebel miner is two gold, and if you have another companion in your area, you draw a card. Give me those two. These two? Yep. Okie doke. Uh -oh. <laughs> You're done, right? Yep. Here we go. Hey! We're gonna have a monster attack. Okay. So and hang on, please. Right. Please put three dragon cubes back in the bag. Wow. Yeah, there's two. All right. Okay. So That's all an, go in? an arrive pyre. Yep. Okay. An animated door is a monster. You'd get a movement for defeating it, and the shrine is a device. You spend two, and you can either get a gold or a heart. Hmm. Right. And we are drawing three. Here we go. First one is red. Mm. What happened? Attack. Oh, it just goes there. Second one is black. Doesn't count. Third one is green. Ouch! All right. Oh, you got two. Yeah, I know. That's going to happen. All right. We're all going to get them, and you know oh, it. Oh, I know. <laughs> Wait, we're drawing four at a time or five at a time. Mm. Okay. Okay, no. I have one move, four, one movement, though. Okay, only one movement, unfortunately. Actually, let me. Uh, what are the uh, attack? There's a there's a one, a three, and a three. This one gets you a movement if you want it. Okay. You can't do the three, so it doesn't matter. You can only do the you can only do the one. You could do the two over here for a gold. I think I'm gonna go in another direction. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in another direction. So we use my movement and go over here. Okay. So I have uh, two attacks. I'm gonna attack the goblin for uh, a gold. Coal. Okay. Yeah, gold. Okay. And then I have four. Let's see. Elven boots. Yeah, let's take out stuffing boots. over Elven here. Elven boots is good. You can heal right now. Elven boots, All please. Right. I really have more stuff. All right. <laughs> Thanks. I'm done. Swagger. All right. So, 
swagger is a boot and a variable skill level. You get a skill for each clank that you made this turn. All right? Okay. Wow. That That's is, by the way, for That's all the need? clank that you made in the positive thing, meaning if you have a minus two clank, yeah. that does not subtract two from this card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. One movement. Go ahead and move me down to that crystal cave, please. I'll take that top little token. What'd you get? Hey, I was wrong. I got an Easter egg. You should be. a dragon egg. And four of those. And there's the uh, swagger shrine. Um, huh. I guess I'll take two mercenaries. Done. All right. Here's my stumble. <laughs> Thanks. You are welcome. And, hmm. Okay, I am gonna fight uh, the goblin. For a gold. For a gold. So now I have five gold. That was a good, not good enough. Okay, so I've used those two. Yeah, but you get there. I'm gonna move, no, I'm blue, Burp. Okay. And I don't have enough to buy anything there. But you might on your next turn. Yeah, but I can do a, a two. Is there a two? What is this one again? You just you just heal or get a gold. Mm. And the card goes away. Or I can... No, it happens right now. It happens right now. It's uh, an instant... No. Nope. Okay, no. I'll buy a mercenary. Done. Okay, no. Dave, I have a question. Yes, Mike. Uh, if you have boots on your turn, do yep. you have to use them? Nope. So you don't have to move if you don't want you don't to. Have to use your, you don't have to use all your boots. You don't have to use every skill. We've already thrown away some skill, right? Okay. You don't have to use all your swords. You just have to play all your actions. Okay. The actions are mandatory. Okay. Thank you, Div. You're welcome, Mike. Clank. Clank. <laughs> <laughs> and I got seven power, but guess what? Woohoo! I have three more clank. Ah. Oof. Uh, I can move one and I can attack two. So I'm going to, uh, what's the one down there? The, yep, the, no, the two, the one. This That's door. That's another movement. Do you need another movement? I don't think I need it. If you so, defeat it, you get it. I'm gonna do this one, take another gold. And they're all there over there. There you go. And then uh, I will move. <laughs> hey, Nick, I'm Hi. in the But you the get store, to buy stuff. And I'm gonna Ooh, with all that money, made a bunch of noise, I get seven points out of that. That's wow. You have good. time to read it once you've escaped the dragon. Hang on, before you do that, escape before the you do what that, is... um, there is a flying carpet here. What does that one do? This turn, ignore monsters in tunnels, and you don't have to stop in crystal caves, and it has two movement. Oh, that's pretty good, too. I'm not saying don't get that, but that's not anything. It it's doesn't just, anything. It's just, just going to gum up your hands. Yeah, let's do that one. That's there. seven points so at the end of the game. Is that all yeah. it is? That's still also got two, two points, points on it, so it's not... It's not horrible in that Now, regard. can he buy stuff? No. Not yet. He I, just I, spent, I only have five. He just spent his seven, right? Yes, sir. No, here, in the market, is oh, what you I didn't, was talking Yeah, about. it makes sense. You didn't want to go here, obviously, right? Because then you'd be stuck there in your land. Well, I may go the other direction. Got I, I didn't want to take necessarily yep. a hit. Yep. Well, you had, if you didn't do the fighting, you could have... I got to get the key to do that, right. but, uh, you know. Right. But it's seven. Done? Okay. Yep. Dead run. Plus two clink. But you don't have to stop in Crystal Caves. Okay. Clank, clank, clank. Dead run. You know why they call it that, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, stumble. One win. A burgle. Oh, two stumbles. Oof. Okay, there's my two stumbles. Clank. And no movement, but I do have a teleport. I can teleport to an adjacent room or take a secret from an adjacent room. Um, I teleport here, then yes. I, can, I can take this one, correct, Dave? Correct. Okay. Now, you know you can teleport here and not worry about the lock. If oh, that, oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. That's the, that's what's nice about the okay. teleport, is oh, it? Oh, I didn't realize that. Yep. Okay, I'm going to do that. Let's go here. I am not going to pick up the lock. I figured you wouldn't. Okay, so that's that. I have a fight for two. I don't want to fight those two, so I'll fight the goblin for one. <laughs> and then I have a two-pointer. Mm. Shrine? I think I'll you take can heal. Shrine. I think I'll take the shrine. Are you taking the gold or healing? 
think I need some gold. I, I, I'm not so worried. Okay. I'm not so worried about the dragon yet. Take a gold. Okay. Oh. Take a gold. Here we go. Okay. And are you done? I am done. Shrine. Oh. Okay. Arrive. Put three dragon cubes back in the bag. Wow. And it's the same thing you just did. Okay. Clank! Stubble. Okay. And then the rest of this stuff. All right, I have one movement. I'm going to go up, and I'm using one of my swords to not take a hit from that monster. You get this thing? I do. There you go. And that is, hey, it's a chalice. Worth seven. Ooh. I am going to use my other sword to defeat the animated door monster. That gets me a movement. I'm going to move back down. I do not have any more swords, so I will take a hit for that. Hmm. But I get that token. Ooh, Dave. Looks like you thought that He's up. You don't have any more swords. I thought there were two. Eggs. I used one on that monster, and I used one to get the oh, movement okay. I needed to come down. This is a potion of swiftness. It's a boot that okay. you can use whenever you want. Does it get What's it all out? about? What's it all about? It just gives me one more movement. Uh, but do you throw it away when you use yes, it? Yes, it's a one-time okay. use. Okay. And then I have one, two, three, four. Oh, this is gone. And, man, these are all kind of, Yeah. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I guess I'll do the shrine for the heart. And for three, I will take Explore. And I have two of these. Danger! So if there's a dragon attack, we're going to take one more cube. That is a uh, Dragon Shrine device. It's $2 or trash a card in your play area or discard pile. And mm. all players get one clank when the Watcher shows up. So another Watcher. Yes, it's the same as that one. Thanks. Nikki, I need, yeah. I need a cube, turn. please. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Done, yep. sir? Okay. I have a minus two clank. Okay. And then gems cost two less, so those go back in my pile. Yep. I don't have anything that makes noise this time. I'm actually very quiet. <laughs> I have to move the three. Is that what you said? No, you don't have to move any of them. You have three movement if you want it. Okay. But if you move here to this market, mm -hmm. you're still in the market and you get a token. Okay. Or if you move here, you can pick up this artifact. You can move here and get this token and you are still in the market if you want to stay in the market. Yeah, I'll just... You can also go back and forth. And you can also yeah. go back and forth. That's that is Example boop, 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 boop. I'll go here and pick this up. Okay. See what I get. What is that? That is Magic Spring. At the end of this turn, you are going to trash a card either from your play area or from your discard pile. Okay. And I believe all of your cards are in the discard pile, yes, right? Yes, they will. So all you be will in likely there. be getting rid of a stumble. Probably. Okay. So I took a movement. And I by the way, this is. This is going to happen immediately on your turn, okay. so you don't keep it. I'm going to buy something. Okay. And I got seven, so I am going to, even though it's going to gum up my hand. Hang on, you have two more movements still. You don't have to use it now, but I would think at the very least you'd want to move back here, right? Or you can just go back to that room and take the other thing, right? If you want. I mean, depending okay. on where you want to go next, you definitely don't want to end your turn here. You want to go here. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh. And you could go back here and pick that up again if you wanted to. I didn't realize I was allowed to do that. Right. In one. Right. You can only pick up one in a room. You can't pick it up on the way out is what he was saying. Right? Correct. Okay. So at the very least, you should move here okay. just because now the question is, do you want to use your third movement? Yeah. Why not? Okay. And do you want to go here? Yeah. Or do you want to go? Okay. And I pick that up again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take it. Uh, potion with two swords yep. in it. When you want it, when you need two swords, you got them. Okay. And I'm buying this secret tome, and then the potion thing. I got to go through and just discard something. Yep. All right. Well, you trash it. Okay. It goes out of the game permanently. That was my whole turn. Yep. Okay. I have a uh, the invoker of the ancients and gets a clank. <laughs> Clank. 
And I sidestep so I get to move one, and I got three Burgle. So I can purchase something for three. Um, dead run. It's plus two clank, though. You don't have to stop in caves this turn. This is actually not a bad card for you. Uh, for each clank you make, you get plus one in skill. You have cards that generate a lot of that. Mm -hmm. That could turn into at least money. Sure. Or explore, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, invoke the ancients. Let's go over there. Go Do for what? the 20. Picking it up? Sweet. Yeah, sure. Stop Listen, if you down. get two swords, you're out of there with no trouble, right? Right. Even if you get one sword, it's only one hit. That's true. Um, and then I have another movement, maybe. You have, you have one boot. Yeah. So if you want, I can you can move back and now and take, it would you take two hits, is yeah, the yeah. thing. No, no, I meant I can take one hit and go for the big, uh, what's the difference with those? Oh. What, what's the point of these? These are better, they're bigger versions of this. So the two gold that she had, there's a five gold in here somewhere. Uh -huh. the, the plus one boot that I got, there's a plus two boots in the big ones. Oh, okay. She got the two swords, I think there's like a three or maybe even a four swords in there, I, mm. I can't remember. Okay. There's a double heel, I think, in there. That one you can hold on to. A lot of them, though, are immediate. They have to happen, like, right away. Right. And then into the cave, which I have to have the keys, and I have to have two movement for the other one. I almost feel like you're not you're not bad staying there. Yeah. You have swords or in your deck, right? Right. Well, but if you get... As long as you get a sword and a boot on your next turn... Yeah. You can get to here and not... And only take one hit instead of... On the other hand, who knows? I mean, you have a lot of cubes in the bag, but... I don't know how this works. Right, I don't right. know how many... But don't know. All the black cubes are in the bag right now. Right. But now that Lincoln's done that, doesn't right. that trigger everybody making a no, no, mad I have to get scramble up here, though. I gotta to the get top up here to, make that. to grabbing something and... It just depends, right? Because you, it's still highest score wins. Okay. And once Lincoln is out, if Lincoln gets out first, right, he has four things up there. So that gives us all four full turns in the dungeon oh, before, all right. before it's a guaranteed game ender. I just kind of felt like, oh, he's that's triggering the mad dash for the jewels and it getting out. It sort of is if I'm starting it, to get out of it. It might. Those. It totally might. Um, if, if I you think will, you have enough points. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm going to go back. And take two hits? Yep. Okay. That's two. Oh. Yep. So I got three skill to buy with. Okay. Um, I, well. Uh, what is this? Oh, dead it's run. two clanks. Well, here's the deal. It's two feet. If you're trying to get out now, yeah, yeah. that's not necessarily it's a, a bad it's thing. It's an additional clank, you said? Or it's two, two clanks. Clank. Well, two or clanks. this one. This or is for every swagger. clank you make, you get another skill level. That might get you enough to yeah, get to the seven. Let's do that one. It's All only right. one foot, though. It's still movement, though. At the very yeah. least, it does give him movement. Cool. Hey, well. Ugh. Wand of Recall. If you have an artifact, teleport to an adjacent room. Is mm. this an artifact? Lincoln is the only one with an artifact right okay. now. Artifacts are the things we're picking up. Oh, and you picked an artifact up. That also bumps that up. Oh. Makes her a little... Yeah, I always forget. Nikki's getting angry. I have tattle, so everyone gets a clank. Ugh. Come on, tattle. man. Okay. You're a fink. You're a no good I fink. I have two boots and a bunch of uh, skill. i to gamble a little bit. Let's go here. Um... One, two. That's my two movements. Two, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I will buy the uh, secret tomb. No. Thank you. Tome. Secret tome. Secret tome. Okay. Go ahead. Here's where you'll find me. <laughs> All right. Explore, explore, stumble, clank. Elven cloak minus two clank and draw a card. So there's the clank. There's the minus two. Draw a card. Mercenary. All right, I have two movement, and I will go here and here. I can no longer use boots. I'm using one of my swords mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I'm going to buy one of those as well. Done. All right, so I just have a clog. Two gold, please. Here you go. Thank you. And then I've got another <laughs> movement. 
So I have enough to buy. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm taking the crown. Okay. And I can move. Two? Two. Is it time to get this? It's a 10. No. Okay. Uh, can I go one? No. And then I have to have two feet for that. Correct. One. Well, I'm going to just move one and get in position. And then I can fight only that guy. For a buck. For another buck. That's a point. It's a victory point. Actually, that's not true. You have these swords, don't forget. Oh, that's right. You can go for one of the big ones? If you want to go for one of the big Let ones. Let me put that back. Okay. I should. Why not? You will, be like waste, a, you will be wasting a sword, but you can still do it. I got a watch, two watchers I could choose. Three dollars, everybody else gets a clank. You can only fight this in a crystal cave, which you're not in. I'm not in, so just that. And same thing, three dollars only gets clanks. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't seem as bad. It doesn't seem so great. Well, these aren't going anywhere. Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm gonna yep. fight Makes that sense. guy for the thing. And Makes hold sense. on to that and uh, buy something for three. I don't want noise, so I'll just buy an explorer okay. and I'm done. Okay, I got a stumble, so I'm clanking it up again. And then I've got uh, just a single burgle, or no, is that two burgles? I got two burgles. Burgle, burgle. And then uh, explore and mercenary. So I, I have brothers. I have a total of uh, five experience and one movement and two attacks. So I will take uh, the gold here. Okay. For that. There you go. That's spent, and then I got an additional five. Do you want? How much money do you have? Uh, I don't have enough to do that yet. You do six. if you do this dragon shrine. You yeah. can spend four experience. Okay. And take two gold. Okay. Cool. I'll do that. Because you're in the market, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? You should do that. Okay, so do that first as four of my experience. You get two gold for that. Cool. And then I will buy uh, the backpack. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's not good. Nope. Because guess about what? It. He I still has one wound it. that he hasn't used. And I'm going over there to get that, yes. Yep. Oh, right here? Yep. Oh. Yeah, I thought about it. Lincoln. <laughs> and then this moves now too? Yep. Oh, Lincoln. <laughs> now I hope I can get out of here without well, dying. Uh, I didn't say it, but it makes common sense that once you are out of the dungeon, your cubes don't hurt you anymore. Yeah, I know. I just okay. Figured. All right, Mike. Okay, let's see what I got. Mercenary, a tattle. Oh, wait, hang on, I'm sorry. Hang on. Search. Each time you gain gold this turn, increase the amount you gain by one. Mm -hmm. You bet. I got a tattle. Everyone throws in another token. Uh, how'd that come back out again so fast? I reshuffled. Uh, Mike. I have no <laughs> movement, though, but I do have one to win, so I can teleport. So I will teleport to here and All right. take a token. All right. What is it? This token is a, is this, is a life token? Yes. Yeah. That is a heal, and you can save it and use it whenever you want. Okay, I'll save that. So I want. Um, I have two attacks. And I have one, two, three, four, five for the uh, experience. experience. One to recall? Uh, maybe. What does that do again? If you have an artifact, teleport to an adjacent room. Okay. Is that panel? And then what's the uh, what's the next one? Search. search. Every search time you gain gold, gain an extra gold. Gain gold. Okay. That's the dead run. And is then it, there's the exciting stuff. Is over it worth there. any victory points? This is the only one worth a victory point. It's worth one. I don't know, I'll take it out for a minute. Okay. I will fight the goblin for one with my mercenary. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the search. Thank you. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Silver spear. Ooh. That's three. Sword when you acquire it. Yep. Nice. Hey, no movement. I will fight the goblin for one. Fight the goblin. Fight the goblin. It's the, it's the, um, yep. 
Oh, wait. Public enemy, but yes. in the Public enemy number one. <laughs> yeah, He's but in the caves. <laughs> um, hey, what? No, I'll do that. I remembered I had this that's, boot, but it doesn't really horses. matter. That's for horses. All right, I'll put the on for one, and then for three, I will take this silver spear. Yes, you will, spear. you dorkus. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to fight the goblin for one. I'm going to take the silver spear first. Don't fight the goblin. Now I have three swords. So instead of fighting the goblin, I will defeat one of these watchers. Yeah. So that gets me three dollars, and everybody has a plus one clank. Oh, right boo. now? Yep. Come on, man. And then I have two left, and with two, I will not get a mercenary. I will just throw it away and not spend it on anything. Done. Rebel Captain, if you have another companion in your player, draw a card, worth a point. Sapphire, uh, hey, there's a gem for you, Nikki P. Draw a card. And you get two clank when it acquires, but the dragon came up. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, oh. dun. How many do I pull? Four, Mike. Four. Here we go. Hey, There's a lot of cubes in here. First cube. Mostly Blue. Blue. Second cube. Black. Doesn't matter. Third cube. Green. <laughs> 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 Con yellow. Red. Uh, Red. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, Nikki. That yeah. was funny. First I stumble. There you go. Thanks. Then you fall. Then I fall. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. This is a very unexciting move. Uh, can I get anywhere interesting with my one? No. I cannot. So, can I find anything? No. Nah, no want to. Not really. So, mm. the only thing I can do, I can't, what? You can go here for one. I'm Why not saying you should. Why would I do that? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, don't listen to Dave. Maybe you're trying to get to this. Nope. Okay. Uh, so, for six, I got six to buy something with. Go here for one. Pick up that artifact. I don't want a five. That's silliness. Silliness. <laughs> Wait, is your gem card out? Did it come out? No, no. right? No. But I think I'm going to buy, if you have an artifact, teleport to yep. in an adjacent room. It's worth a point, if nothing else. Yeah. Wait, you have four? No. Oh, you have five? five? Oh, you have six? I have six. You have six. So I can do the five. Six is not that. You could get this. That's worth four points. That's true. Oh, but you take two clank when you, when you buy it, you drop well, two clank. Well, whatever. So. I'm just letting you know. Lincoln's going to get out of the caves and <laughs> yeah. that'll be that. Maybe not. Maybe sapphire. not. You never know. Because the sapphire works with I think you'll get out, but my... whether that'll be that, although those two artifacts are pretty good. If you have two of the following. Right. None of it is that. It's a chalice, dragon egg, and a monkey idol for the dwarf. I'm pretty sure the dragon eggs are gone. You didn't get one, right? I didn't get a dragon okay. egg. And uh, no chalice. Right. And no monkey idol. Right. So don't worry about the monkey idol. But that's four versus one, so yes. All right. Done. Two, two clank. More. And you have Dead two my... You no. have two more to spend if you want to spend them. You have two more skill if you want to spend them. Sure. I'll just get a mercenary. Okay. Need more swords. Sword attack. No. Ladder. It's a device. For three skill, you can get two movement. Hmm. There you go, Link. There's a way to get out fast. Five. Okay, so I stumble clank. <laughs> so one more cube over here. I You're almost out of cubes. Yep. Yeah, well, here comes the rest. Uh, <laughs> Is it going to be good? He just has to get out. So I have the Scepter of the Ape again. Oh. Oh. Uh, but I have three movement Woo. Wow. to oh. there, which will get me pretty close. Do you have three... Oh, you have. You want to buy that for yep. three? So you have five movement? Yep. Wow. wow. That's pretty good. Well, five movement's not gonna, Oh, do you have your teleporting thing or it's no? It's the flying carpet, though. Yeah, but that just lets me ignore uh, monsters in the tunnels and I don't have to stop in the crystal That's cave, the important is part, yes. is you don't have to stop yeah. in the crystal yeah. 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 Or monsters in the tunnels. That's spectacular. The shortest way path. Way out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the shortest path. I think you can get out this turn, right? No, no I, one, I, I got two, five. five. Three, four, five, six. It's six either way. But what if he gets the ladder? No, that he's using, using the ladder. I, am getting the I think ladder. this is your best way. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Yep. 
Can you go what? through anything on the way? You can't go that way. You can't. You can't ignore locks, right? Just no. monsters. Yeah, they're all five. You can't ignore locks, right, Lincoln? No, just the monsters. Okay, because otherwise you could pick up another token along the way, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. You're so good. Yeah. So I'm going to spend the three for that. Yep. Goodbye, device. Gives me five. Did it? Did I make noise? Nope. No. Okay. It's nice. Uh, <laughs> so not five. so noisy. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Yeah, that flying carpet is great. And that is uh, two more, which I don't think there's anything I need. Um, nope. Nope. You I want the flavor te te text on the ladder? Yeah, sure. what do you say? <laughs> you say ominous hole, I say promising shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, dead run again. No attack, Lincoln, that's good. Okay, I got a stumble and a secret tomb. Awesome. There's one of those. Okay, I got uh, two movement and four and four uh, things. Well, uh, this game's not going so good for me. So let's go this way anyway. <laughs> let's go there. Ow, ow. You're gonna take two hits. Yeah. Good luck, player. Thank you. What else am I gonna do? Ow, I'll, ow. I will pick this up. Yep. And then I have a four. What do I have left over there? I could buy dead run. Dead run. What is the, uh, is that Rebel Captain? Yes. Rebel Captain. Can you, can you read that to if me? If you have another companion in your play area, you draw a card. Otherwise it's worth one and two? Right. You might need the feet, though. Yeah, I, I need the feet. Let me get some feet. And you also don't have to stop in Crystal Caves if you draw that. Oh, thanks. But it's clankety? Clankety, clank, when he yeah. plays it. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm less clank. Done? I, I just thought done. that might Good. have been good for me. Lucky coin! Plus one clank, draw a card. Oh crap, I'm sorry Mike, you picked up an artifact. So we go up one of them, we're, we're maxed out. Nikki, Queen Nikki is maxed out. I'm mad. All right, three movement. I'm, am I really, I'm just getting the five artifact, I think. All right, uh, one, two, <laughs> lame, three. Gotta get out of this place. Look how far down I am. I have two swords. I will fight the goblin for the gold. And I have one, two, three, four of those. I will buy the... Wand of Recall. Yeah. I can't. If I could, I would. Why can't you? I only have four, I don't oh. have five. I think I need to buy, um, I think I need to buy, well. I don't care about the lucky coin, do I? I don't know. Eh, it's a point. I'll buy the lucky coin and I will buy a mercenary. Let's see if I can even get out of this place. And... Dragon attack. Teleporter! That's a device. You can just spend four to teleport. It's a one-time use. Immediately? Yep. That's pretty good. Adjacent mm. location? Adjacent. It's always adjacent in this game. Okay, let's do a uh, gem collector so I get minus two in the clank. Oh, nice. There you go. Yeah. And um, burglar, burglar, fight something and only move one space. So I think I can afford the teleporter. Okay. Dealy. Yes, I, I can. So I'm going to use it right away. Okay, where are you going to well, go? If you're going to do the. Are you talking about going like this way? Oh no, you don't have a, a, a relic it's yet. It's adjacent, right? Yep. But I could go down here or to this one. Probably this one's better. You have one movement, oh. right? Mm-hmm. So I got one boot. Okay. So I'm gonna move into the crystal dealy. I have enough to buy the teleporter, so I'm yes, gonna you do? buy it and use it okay. to get, uh, how many movement one. can I do? Just one, one to an adjacent to space. That. Okay, so that's used. That's nice. Uh, that was worth four. Yep. And there's nothing worth one, so. Dave took the one. That's that. I did. And I could fight something if I want. Not in Crystal Cave, so it would just be that guy. I don't want to fight that guy. Fight the goblin? For a dollar. Yeah, I'll fight the goblin for a dollar. And that is my turn. Okay. For a silver. Well, it's something. Dragon. Oh. Singing sword. Uh-oh. 
One, two. Dragon. Oh, Plus dragon. One claim. Glad I got my two out of there. You did. I mean, I pulled five. Five. There we go. Oh. <laughs> one. That's oh my God. Two. two. That is really hilarious. <laughs> Three. Where are yours? Four. I don't have many in there. I don't have a lot in there. Five. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right, Link. I'm out of here. Two boots? Uh, yeah. So I got three. Nice. I reshuffled, thankfully, so that was good. Oh, so, excellent. Um, I do have an additional clank. Okay. I hope I don't have any more than that because I don't have a lot. Um, I can discard to draw two. Might as well. Slide a hand. I would. Yep. Wait. Discard the. Can you discard the clank card? Or is it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I guess you can, right? Yeah. No, it's saying discard. Oh, no, it says discard a card. Yeah. I think Thanks I have to. Things don't matter anymore, though. What if I it's run out? Hand. That's fine. If you run out, you just don't have to put any there. What? Why are you even putting one there? What are you getting a clank? I from? had a clank from the uh, stumble. You could oh. just yeah. discard the stumble. That's what I'm saying. Because then I can spend the three. Because if I draw two, which I yeah, saw. Yeah, discard because, the stumble. So I draw. So the you two. don't have a clank. So. So that's discard the stumble. Yep. Just, just but now keep. I got three clank. <laughs> I'm out of clank. Jeez. But that's okay because you've got enough. Do you have enough? I can get out. But do you have enough skill now to buy something like a secret, a secret two tome? for uh, my companion? Yep. There you go. That's good. I don't think I have enough to get. Wait, the, I only have five. Do you have another companion? Uh, not a visible. Okay. Not visible. Fair enough. Five. Because uh, she's not a companion. Worth, the wand's worth one. I mean, you can still get a victory point. Singing sword is worth two. Even better. Yeah, let's just do that one. Okay. Five. And I'm out. I'm out of here. Out of here. Okay. So because you get out, you get one of those twenty. Uh, twenties. Yep. Twenties. Okay, now that Lincoln's out, what, what happens? So he got the mastery token right for 20, and he goes to that first space of the countdown track. On his next turn, he's just going to move down that countdown track. Okay, so and we every have... every space that he moves to is a dragon attack, where we draw cubes plus mm. whatever that the is. The downer is all the cubes will be mine, so it's not or really going to hurt the, you guys. The red cubes will, will help us from being hit. Right. Right. But still... I'm, I'm not in good shape. No. You need to just go right there. And I, I have a lot. But of you're them. done drawing cards and shuffling and all that stuff. So he just yep. waits. Yep. All right. Got to do this first. Dragon Shrine. Hey, mm. danger. So when we have an attack, it'll even be an extra cube. Yay. But for four, you can get uh, two gold or a trash a card in your play area or discard okay. play. Let's see what I get. Sidestep, Burgle, Elven Boots, Stumble, Mercenary. Okay. Uh, Elven Boots says draw a card. Another burgle. <laughs> okay, uh, here's a clank. Clank. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I have two movement, so I'll move here, and uh, and I'll fight. So, so you don't take the hit. Take a hit. So but you heal. You heal. I will heal one. You heal one. <laughs> I have four left. Uh, gravy. Let's see one, one recall only worth one. Okay, what's the what's the dragon shrine worth? It's worth two victory points because you get two gold, and gold is straight up victory points. Good. Okay, let me buy the dragon shrine. Okay. Two gold. And you I'll do, make change. You do potentially cause this though. That's okay. But you got the danger out of the way. Yep. Here, let me Are you done? I'm done. Just make a change. The bracers of agility. Draw two cards. Draw two cards. All right. Burgle, mercenary, burgle, silver spear, explore. All right, I'm going to spend my boot along with this boot to go here. So this token is done. I have five of these. So I'm going to fight this watcher. That gets me three gold. Everyone else, a clank? Clank. Not you, sir? And I am going to fight the goblin. Oh, yes, fight the goblin for one. And for two, three, four, five, I will take the bracers of agility. And here we go. Put three dragon cubes back in the bag. Wow, those come up a lot. Mm -hmm. At least they have for us. Mountain uh, King. Well. Holy smokes, look at that. What does he do? Companion, if you have a crown. Hey. Then it's. Plus one sword and plus one boot. Cool. But it's already got two plus a sword plus a boot. And three victory points. Six, yeah. eh? Yeah. So if you have a crown, it's two, two, and two. That's really good. 
Hey, Nikki has a crown. I do. But, uh, ooh, okay, my turn, yes? Yeah. I'm all excited now. Okay, did I have a, s no, no stumblings. Uh, minus two clank. I only have one in there, but. But you have one retroactive if it happens. Take it out. And uh, I can draw another card. Uh, yep, yep. One card. Eh, dumb. Perfect. I guess, yeah, right. Plus one clank, and okay. you don't have to deal with it. Mixes it. And then uh, I have. Let me move that Six. To the blues. Yeah. Beautiful. So I will be buying this dude. Yes. Wow. Nice. And. Two movement. Did you do that yet? I haven't moved at all. Okay. I'm going down here to get my bananas. Okay. And then back. And then back. And you... Can I go back? Yeah, That's of course. a crystal. Oh, no, you're right. Thank you. Boots, deal. you cannot. You are stuck there. Yeah, no more boots can I'm be used. I'm stuck. And I'm done. Because I bought and I. Yeah. Archaeologist. Draw a card. If you have a monkey idol, it's plus two. Lincoln's turn. Here comes a dragon attack. Mike, please draw five plus one, six cubes from the bag. Do they go into? Yes. Okay. Just like a normal thing. Six cubes. Here we go. One. Doesn't matter. <sighs> two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, Nikki's getting hit. Yeah. Six. Hey! <laughs> All right, Mike, your turn. Okay, here we go. Burgle. Burgle. Dead run. Burgle. Search. Okay, hold on. Uh, I don't have to stop on Crystal Caves this turn. That's good, but it's okay. too clank. Okay. Each time you gain gold this turn, increase the amount you gain by one. Okay. First, I have three movements. So, one. I'll pick this up. Yep. Five. Okay. Nice. Um, five skill. Five skill. Okay. Two. I take a. I take a hit. <laughs> oh, I like it. Living large. Okay. Now, now, can I? Uh, do I pick up this? Yes. Yeah. I pick 100%. up hundred percent. Okay. Let's pick this up. See what I get. That's another health. Okay. That's good. You just spend it right now. Yeah. Right? Uh, you might as well. Because they're not both points, of them. right? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Might as well spend them both. Sure you're safe. Spend them both. There yeah. you go. You have one more movement. I know. Unfortunately, I don't have a seven dollars six. Yeah. I can, can I buy something that might be, and then maybe. Uh. What? what? Do you have two for the shrine? Yeah, you do. That sure. gets you a dollar. Okay. Let's do that. I'll use these two. Okay. Give me Take a dollar. dollar. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So I use seven then. Yep. What are you gonna get? Um. Do you want? No. Let's buy the this. crown. Buy the crown. All right. I thought maybe you would backpack and try to go here next. No, I gotta get out. Okay. Right? I don't know, look. One, two. I I I I I need to catch up to this. Four, I have a long yeah, fair I, have enough. A long, I have a long way to go. Fair enough. Long way to go. Um, <laughs> so I have a third movement. Yep. Okay. Oh you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Only because you're going there next, aren't you? Yeah. That's shorter than yeah, going right. all the way okay, around. Let's go back. Here we go. Let's put this back. Let's buy the backpack. And it's my third, and yep. I have a honk. Look at that. Alright, what do you got left? Um, that was these two, right? So yeah. I have two, three, uh, eight. Eight! I'll buy the uh, secret tomb. Secret tomb. Tom. Secret tome. <laughs> what is it, tome? Two. Tome. Oh, tome. It's a book. Oh, thank you. A tome. tome. Done? Done. Move silently. Uh, wow, minus two, two clank. And minus two clank. Lucky coin! Clank! Draw a card. All right, explore, burgle, burgle, stumble, clank. And mercenary. One boot. Boot me up one, please. And then I have two, three, four, five, six. No! Oh, not enough for a secret thing. But I will fight the goblin for one, and I will buy, mm, I guess, the rebel. Oh, I'll buy these two. The rebel oh. companion and the archaeologist. That's my turn. Here we go. Oh. Exciting. Attack. And not attack. Sneak. Minus two clink. Okay. So I pull five? You pull five. Okay, here we go. One. Black. Two. Green. Boo. Three. Green. Four. Black. Five. Yellow. There we go. <laughs> All right, Nikki. Okay. Uh. 
So, uh, give me two gold for my dwarf person. There you go. And then I am going to go one and then down. <gasps> she good. is greedy. Just one. But look what your direction is. You have to come back through there, right? Yeah. Remember, though, she only has to get above this line that's to, true. to beat, but she doesn't get this for that. Right, that's 20 points. It is 20 points. I'm not saying don't do that. You clearly have a plan. So if you want to go for it, go for it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Okay. Um, Are so you using one of your swords yes, to not take I a am. hit? Yes, I am. Okay. I am. Ta Great. I am. Okay, so then I pick up one of the monkeys. Yep, monkey, 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 monkey. monkey. Well, I got the bananas right. Yes. So <laughs> each of them. Three of them. You got a banana for each of them. Mm -hmm. I like it. I do. Well, I'm not going to get each of them. But All right. Okay. Just keep going. In a circle. Uh, and you so have. So I've used that. Right. I used one of those. So now I can do a three card. I'm just going to do an explore for some feats. Okay. Well, what about the three? Oh, no, this one. Yeah, it gives yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Two feet and minus two clay. Minus three. That's it does way maybe bring better. out a dragon attack, but I think it's worth it. No, that's way better. And that was my turn. No dragon. If it ever comes, <laughs> if I ever come. Apothecary, goes. discard a card and then choose one of the following: either three swords or two gold or one health. Okay. All right, Lincoln's turn. Boom! Please draw seven, seven. cubes from the bag, Mike. Okay. Here's three. Look at that. Oh. Wow. There's three. Okay. Yep. Four. Hear that. Here all mine come. Five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Six. Seven. Okay. My turn? Yep. Okay. I need a lot of luck. Here we go. Scramble, attack, a stumble, an explore, and a two. There's that. There's that. Um, He's clanking. Quiet. Let's see. Uh, I have two movements, two fights. Okay, so here we go. Let's do this. So one moves here. Let's see what I get. Two gold. I think I remember this way. All right. You have to. You are at least. Eligible to win now that yeah, you are above ground. I know, but not so good. Four, four. Uh, I'll fight the goblin. Oh okay. no, yes, I can fight the goblin. You want to fight the orc grunt? What is your three? You get three duck bucks for it, but you bring a card That's out. That's fine, let's kill the orc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three bucks. Okay. Come on, there's three, there's, three, there's three bucks. Okay. And then I have four left. Something give me. How much does the Foth area cost? Two, three for two points? I'll take that. Yeah. Absolutely. Here we go. Oh, now Done. two Here we go. chances Done. for. Queen of Hearts, if you have a crown, you, hey. gain, you gain health every time that comes up. And Wand of Recall. All right. Which Same is, as I the think, other. like this Wand of Recall, but I don't recall. <laughs> I don't recall. <laughs> Sidestep, Elven Cloak, minus two clank, draw a card. Mercenary, Tome, Burgle, Explore. So I'm out. Move me two, I go out. Okay. I have two swords, I'll fight the goblin for one. And that's my whole turn. Okay. Done. Kay. Nikki, why are we still laggering? Because we're Lagging? stupid. I don't know. Laggards. Ta da! My secret tome does nothing. And I'm just going to move yep. one into there. Okay, okay. And then I've got. Three? Th uh, five. Oh, five. Sorry, sorry. Wand of Recall. It allows you to yeah. teleport. I don't think I'm ever going to. You might. Maybe. You might. You could get it right now. But that would be a good. It better, is worth a victory point. It'll well just to get me yep. mo moving. Done. Rebel Scout. Lincoln. One more. Three more. Oh my God! Eight. Oh yeah, Nikki, you have only one more turn. Oh, that's awesome. Here's, that's okay as long as you can get two. above ground. She you get above one, ground. Two. I'm gonna there's fly. Two. There we go. There's one. There's there's two. Okay, you put the one over there, lady. I'm sorry. Okay. You're drawing eight, right? Yeah. There's two more. Three, four. There's two more. Five, six. No. Seven, eight. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> so not good. Tattle. Stumble. <laughs> Tattle is going to sidestep. Yeah. Burgle, yeah. burgle. Okay. Uh, there's a stumble. Uh, four, a movement. 
Well, I can move here and kill myself if I want to. I'll go here. You're not allowed to. I, I should not. Nope. Okay. You are actually it. not allowed to. Uh, four. Um, what can I buy that's for? Rebel <laughs> Scout. <laughs> right? That's no. a victory point, yes. Yeah, I'll take that. Thanks. And that's my no last, movement. It's my last turn. Master Burglar. I don't have a turn, Nikki. Okay. Do you have movement? One. Oh! I know it. Oh! I can do a lot of fighting, though. Wow. Uh, yeah, okay. So, here we go. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> no, oh, you just needed oh. one more move! Oh. <laughs> you just needed one more! And that's a fight, so oh. there's nothing I can do with that. And there's not that much to fight. Can I do no. anything? Nothing. She no. can keep hitting this, right? Well, you can do this. What's that give her, though? Oh, only in the crystal cave. Well, you could do that before you move. It gives her three uh, skill, power. three skills, well, so she could buy the tome. But none of that's going to matter because she's not above ground. Oh, that's right. I have to that's get the above problem. ground. Mm. Boo! Sorry, Nikki P. That's okay. I wanted, I yep. wanted the monkey. the monkey. What were you doing getting the monkey? I wanted the monkey for my bananas. <laughs> All right, Lincoln. They're not even going to eat. So on your turn, you go here. Everybody gets knocked out. Uh, 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 Mike is above ground, so the townspeople come to save him. <laughs> but I don't get the 20. But you don't get the 20. Okay. And then, Nikki, you are below ground, so you yeah. are not eligible. And then between the three of us, we just add up our points. Okay. okay. Let's go see what we get. I just want to see. Sure. Even though it doesn't matter. Okay. 61. 64. 70. Wow! That was really good. Wow. Right? No, no! I'm, yeah, yeah, that's great. I mean, wow! wow. First off, wow, the mic well, beat he me. Won if he could have gotten out. Yeah? yeah? Well, no, I knew he didn't get, didn't you get two tomes? I did get two yeah. tomes. Yeah. yeah. That's uh -huh. awesome. I mean, that was the, I didn't take it, I don't remember what I didn't take, but I was nervous because I was like, that's good points that I'm bypassing, right? Yeah. Those are, and I never, had a lot of. Huh? I, I never had a seven again, did I? I know. I didn't die. No. <laughs> Super close, man. I want, yeah. How many more greens are in the bag? Let's find out. Yeah, just dump them all out. Oh, there was greens there. There's a lot of greens. Oh, look at all those reds. Yeah, well, I have to say, I kind of had to do that. I have to say, considering you put a lot in, they didn't actually come out that much. I mean, you. While you, I was out, yeah. Uh, yeah. Look how many came out later. Yeah. yeah. We threw in blacks. Twice or three times. Three times, I think. Yes. But but in none of those times were there three blacks to throw in. Correct. We put in two, I think, and two, and then one. All right. What did you have for points, then? I would have if I gotten out fifty-six. Wow. Okay. Fifty-six plus the twenty. Plus the twenty? Or no, no, without no. So the twenty. Seventy-six. Yeah, you would have yeah. got out. Well, she wouldn't have gotten it. She would have gotten just to here. But right. she spent how much movement going that way? Yeah. She could have done it. She just would have been five less. Yeah. Well, you the other thing the 20, is, though. is uh, my dwarf peddler wouldn't have given me four point any points if I didn't have a the, a monkey idol. Oh, okay. So no, no, getting, no, no. Yeah. no, no, no. You need two of the following three. You need a monkey what, idol. Oh, two. Yes. So subtract four points. Oh, boo! <laughs> what did you? What was the other thing she needed? She needed an egg and a chalice. An egg or a chalice plus the monkey idol. I didn't even see a chalice. I know, what are the chalice? Uh, this is a chalice. I picked one up. Okay. It was one of the big... Uh, I forgot what I just said I had. And then 56. minus four. Or 54, one or two. So I think 50. I have 52. 52. So what do you think, Nick B? I, I, at the beginning <laughs> I was like, eh. But I kind of enjoyed it. It was um, light as far as deck building goes. Not a lot. So, Which yeah. isn't a bad thing. You know, if you don't want a big, deep deck building game, this one it works that way to me. Uh, it's a lot lighter than other right. deck building games I've played. Uh, like the mad scramble of it, kind of. That's fun, actually. It's fun. Uh, and there's a lot to, you know, joke around about, too, with some of the cards and no, some of the <laughs> text on the cards. I didn't read the Scepter of the Ape Lords. It says the entire yeah. society of Ape Lords was built around the number three. Yes. <laughs> yes. I read that one to myself when it was down here on the thing. Uh, 
Uh, what did you think? I, mm -hmm. I was actually worried that once you got out, you sort of had nothing to do. That was a bummer. Yeah. Uh, it would have been fun to do something else, but I understand what the deal is. You've done, you've spent, you've shot your wad and you're going for it. Right. And the downer, you know, I was nervous because I didn't, I knew I got a lot. This the extra 10 plus the five for the backpack. That was like, why, why bother getting a key? Just go the, right. try to go the shortest path you can do. Cause that, it would have been one of these too, right? Which right. it ended up being 15 versus, cause Nikki got the crown before I did. Um, so I might have gotten a nine, um, but that was good. And then I, my problem was I didn't have a lot of cards. I kind of thought, should I hang back and see if I can make this happen? Right. But I, I was super nervous with the, uh, and you know, right there, there's six. I don't even know how many came out in the time that I was right. uh, potentially having another round. But I thought, you know what, I bet, especially when I drew three feet. Yeah, that was You know, great. when I drew the extra two, I, was, I drew the one that I had played the previous Not just round. three feet, but your ability to ignore the the caves. I mean, yes. that was huge, right? right? But I mean, that was the card, we were talking about that when it came up, right? That's the get out of the dungeon card that yeah. you, that you needed away. more than any of us because you had the most oh, I know. I had to get out of there before. Mm -hmm. Any yeah. more of that went out, you know? That was what was yeah. made me nervous. I used all my clanks and I had to use my, um, to, to, to do that, to get the three, uh, Right. experience with this to be able to buy uh, buy something that I did at the very end right um, was necessary to, uh, to do but you know I couldn't throw it out so you know in other words right. I didn't have the ability to get rid of it anyway um, I think I, I bought the singing sword was like wasn't that the, like the last thing yes. I did yeah I, I think if anything I was too cautious I thought so too at the beginning yeah I thought I was like why is he sneaking around and staying up here you were doing a bunch of monkey business up I, here I just know everyone <laughs> knew you did that well, way. 61 points yeah I mean I still uh, I still did okay, but my plan was to get that ten point artifact. Just and go for that, and then yeah. Don't worry about even it. though, even though I tried to get Nikki to take it, I was like, "Hey, maybe you should take that." And mm. I was hoping she wouldn't. And yeah, because I, I didn't want to go over to try to get the seven. No, my I, plan was is like, I I'm just going to go smart. for the five. I think you were smart. I think you were smart because I figured that. I knew I could get out without keys, and I knew I was going to be able to bypass a little bit of the danger. If I thought I could have gone down for those bananas, I would have tried for it, but I don't know that I could have gotten there. Part of the problem was I had that one turn. Well, that's with, bananas. If I, hadn't, bananas. if I hadn't picked up that boot, right? Yes. If I hadn't picked up this boot potion, I mean, I didn't have a lot of movement in my deck, or at least right, it didn't come up. You did go one round, right, with uh, yeah. being above ground, or maybe two. Two, I think two. So you might have been able to do it, but it, like you said, you still needed to have movement come up if you were going to go further well, down. Yeah, you're right, because my cubes weren't coming up. I should have trusted that maybe I could have done it or not. Well, was there even enough cubes in there to get you dead? One, two, three, no. four, five, six. You well, this one was in there still. Yeah, remember, yeah so you, know, you still would have lived. You would have never died other than something else hitting you, like these or something like that. Well, remember, I was above ground, so if I'm still in the dungeon, I'm probably also adding clank. Yeah, that's true. Maybe. Um, yes, Mike. When you're saying about movement, um, two things that uh, it's hard to get two movement on turn unless you stack your deck up I, or need the cards. Like there's a lot of times I wanted two movement and I only got one. Right. And so I got st I got stuck I think once or twice on one of these where I couldn't move. Right. I go a different direction. Right. Yeah. And then the second is you can't. Ma it's hard to manipulate your deck. Yeah, get back to what Nikki said. It's a lighter game. Right. We mm. didn't realize it at the beginning. So it's once you have a card in there, it's really hard to get rid of it. Well, more importantly, I it, I feel like it's less in a way like, say, Dominion or deck right. building games in right. the sense that there were never, there were some small form of combos. Like right. you did, I think, a really cool combo, which was you took a card, you took a lot of cards that had a lot of clank to them, so that later on you took a lot of cards that had a lot of movement to them, even if they also came with clank, just to say, let me get the clank out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and just hope that I can beat the, I mean, in a way, it's a push your luck game. It's yep. not just a deck building game, it's mm -hmm. a push your luck game. Absolutely. Right? And I, I didn't, I think Lincoln did the best at sort of pushing his luck yep. and having that work. That's weird, right? I didn't have any, I didn't have that, I only had the flying carpet that had two movement. Right, and there was the... the and I got it twice. I mean, to have that twice in the, the final um, right. yeah. two hands for you, me. You shuffled correctly. Yes, I, yeah, I know, yeah. luckily. We yeah. also didn't go through this many cards in this dungeon deck. Yeah. Now, I'm sure a lot of those are doubled up, but, you know, yeah. I don't know what else is in here. Like, here's this big old cave troll that never came out that's three gold and draw two cards if you defeat him. I mean, that could be huge, right? I love that there's a it's a board game. You know, that, yeah. there's, a, that there's a board to go I through agree. with mm -hmm. the... The deck cards. When yeah. I saw that, I was like, "Oh, that is, that's going to be fun." 
I didn't quite understand, you know, just looking at it, I didn't get it, but now, you know, once we yeah. got it explained, I'm like, oh, okay. So, there's another side to this. Let's I want to see these first before oh, yeah, you ahead. turn it all over. Yep, Let's see what we had here. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, five spending. Three cards. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's another chalice cards. right on the way out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, there's a chalice. There's this one. Ooh, there's your two. Double healing. That's just draw health. three cards. Another chalice. That's another chalice. Those up there? Oh. Hey, double two swords. swords. Yep. Uh, I was thinking about going this direction here. I was going to see if I could get here. I would need to uh, get my uh, teleporter. Right? Teleporter was a pretty important, I like to, pretty I like big card. Being able yeah. to get back over here. That's yeah. the one benefit. I was thinking about going about. this direction, but then you scrambled and just. Boop, boop. I, like I think it. if nothing else, just avoiding the locks. The teleporter right. is very helpful in that regard. Yeah. That was the only way I got out, right? Yeah. Because I did that one. I did one thing where I. No, I, maybe I didn't use that. Did I actually have the? T I did have the teleporter. I did mm -hmm. something. Invoker of the Ancients. Did anyone even consider doing the wraparound path? I thought about it, but m <laughs> my concern was is I wasn't gonna. If I did that, I basically had to make the, the long run. If I was, no, seeing this now, because right. this wasn't flipped. Oh, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. You could have taken it. That'd have been a pretty powerful route. Thirty-seven points right there. Mm -hmm. I just thought, oh my gosh, because my th my feeling was you don't want to get too far into the dungeon. Right. Yeah. That's why I kind of milled around here for a bit, hoping that I again, could get Again, it just depends. Money. Like, Mike's teleporter allowed him to get to the more to the big artifact. Right. Ugh. Here we go. Oh, my. So, this is the harder side. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, the market is just... Now, here's All the thing about the, the market. So, market, 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 market. But each of these spaces accesses all of the tokens that are in the market. Mm -hmm. And um, they... I think they either have as a as a bonus or in the second edition printing or something a little market mat you can put off to the side where you just keep all the things, mm -hmm. the the backpack and the keys. But they're all purchasable in each of these market spaces. <coughs> well, weren't they anyway? Yeah, but in the other board, the markets were just the four inner spaces, so you could kind of pile all the tokens in the middle of the board. Oh, I see. It just made sense. But this seven dollar fee is for all of these right. places. I just put the tokens. It functions the same, but there's yeah. no, is there tokens here? Would there potentially be tokens in here? No. In this case, also there aren't tokens here, right? The other market also yeah. has some minor and major tokens in an artifact. Is the health the same amount? Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. I would think it would have to be. It's fun. It definitely is. It's definitely fun, and the art's fun. I mean, you know, this is uh, in this day and age. These there's so many games that have, you know, just great art. But there's some fun. I like what Nikki was saying about the. The flavor text is silly and fun. Yeah. The flavor text. Yeah, the, the singing sword. I like it. The singing sword is singing. But yeah, there's the, it's the noise. It's making noise. 30, 25, <laughs> 10. I mean, look, this is the five artifact. It's here. Oh, there's the markers. That's pretty deep down. Yeah, they, they show you where to place the artifacts. They're not random. Oh, I thought they were random. No, they're not random. See, the five goes where the five is. So uh, you'd always the know. The 30's always. Once you know the board, you always would know. Always deep down at the bottom. Mm, I don't know about that. Oh no! I think that that I think you have to. The question mark thirty, like right up here. You know what I mean? Yeah. It has to be further away. And but you don't get that weird little chance. Yeah. And we didn't use two board. of these because you there are extras of these not spaces on the board. So that was five, five gold, gold and another double. Yeah, nobody feeling. turned over any of the gold. Nikki did. She got two gold. I had a two gold okay. as well. Yeah. Maybe Michael. Yeah. I, I, no, I didn't get that. Or maybe I did. I don't know. No, I didn't. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't have a lot of points in the cards. It was all this stuff. And it was not even that many tokens. Right. But you had, but you had a bunch of good tokens, right? I don't know, getting, getting out with 20 is a lot. 20 is a lot. Yep. Yeah. That but was... you still almost did it. I mean, I was excited to see. Look, I got I, with I 20. Was worried, I got with 20 and you beat me. Yeah. So that's actually cool. I think, I, really, I think that's neat. That means it's definitely, po I would assume it's possible. Otherwise, there's no way they'd publish a game like that where the 20 that you get to get out breaks the game and you can't possibly lose. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I would hope. That would right? be horrible. Yeah. None of, none of that felt like this in this game. This no, all, it's, this all it, felt really good. I, I was worried that Lincoln was going to run away with it, and it turned out not to be the case, which is good. Yeah. Again, it's hard to wrap your head around because none of us had played before, but when Lincoln gets out, we still have four full yes. turns to do that stuff. That was what I was, you know. It was four like, turns is a lot of turns. Yep. That, I thought, maybe was going to hamper him, because yeah. then we would no, manage I, to get more me, I was points, nervous about it. and he'd be stuck up there unable to do anything about it. But I thought it. my best chance, and clearly that was the case, was to just get to the end of this as soon as possible. Yeah. And I lucked out that I was able to get the movement mm -hmm. to get out. 
But I, I thought I had more movement than that, too. I didn't realize it was only oh, singles. Oh, in your deck? I did have more movement cards, because I purchased those. You know, the swagger. Oh, like new. But that never turned up for me. I was bummed, because that was at the bottom. I just right. got it. It was at the bottom, then it reshuffled. But I would have loved it, because I was Mr. Clank, to have... You didn't need it, though, right? Power. One, two, well, I would have loved to have gotten a tome. I was like certainly hoping I, because I was like I thought I was pushing it. I didn't know what my total was. I only had five movement link. One, two, yeah, I wonder how many three, total. four, five. Five total. That's it. That's not a lot. Dude, that's all I have. One, six, seven, eight, two, I have nine, three. Wow. Four. Yeah. Oh, I have six. I have six. I counted. I had seven. Gosh. I Wait wonder, a minute. I, I, I have, could have been stuck for I have, a while. Mike has nine movement and a teleport. You have six movement oh, that and was a teleport. Te yeah, I don't even have carpet. a teleport. I just have five two. movement. Yeah. The carpet was the other thing that was really huge for me because uh -huh. it did let me bypass the monsters and stuff. Yep. That was yes. the thing. It wasn't teleport, but it let me boogie on through. And well, what it really stuff. let you get through was it let you not stop in the crystal cave. Yeah. That was the that was mm -hmm. almost more important than the monsters because yeah. as long as you get out, you can take it. You can take one or two hits. Mm -hmm. I was nervous though because yeah. was, every time we got hit, it was certainly uh, stacking up on right. me. I well, was that shocked. one point in the middle, right, where you had the most cubes in that bag, and I think Mike pulled. Like yeah, a couple of him things. twice yeah. and a black cube and Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. I I was thinking somewhere in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. Like I almost think want to play again and just buy swords and see if I can win by because a lot of the monsters just sat here for a while. Yep. And you know they all get you, not they don't all get you gold, but they get you stuff. Yeah. It was nice though that I came close without. I never spent seven dollars for an item, and. Um, you didn't at the end? No. Oh, you still have it all right there. Yeah, I never bought an item. Did you not get into the market? I, don't I did, I just never had $7. At that time you didn't, I see. And I just thought, I'm not going to buy an item and see if that's okay. Now, I happened to pick up two of the three dragon eggs, so that's six points. I stumbled onto a seven-point chalice. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so once that happened, I thought, well, okay, I, maybe I can get out, maybe I can get away with not buying you something You certainly had market. a chance, you're only nine away. Yeah. I but totally I feel I was I'm with you as far as like I should get out of here while the getting's good. There's no especially because there's nothing up here to even bother with. You did a good job of clearing it out in yeah, advance. Went, so. There was some stuff up yeah. this way. If I had the opportunity, that was my plan to right. go up that way and grab something on the way. I just need to get out. <laughs> the one thing I think that's kind of interesting is because of the board, you don't have you don't have to worry about getting cards that kind of hurt you. You know what I mean? That don't do anything uh, gumming up your deck because there's things that happen as you're moving around. Right. In other words, it's not just based on what your cards give you other than you do need movement to be able to draw those things. But that was actually kind of a neat thing. That's where I thought the interface with the board and the deck was cool. Um, because, you know, like Mike said, you can't really manipulate your deck enough to mm -hmm. really do much. You're going to mm -hmm. get hit with the stinky stuff most of the time. Yeah. You know? Well, it's a deck building game that in a way isn't a deck building game. It's like using that mechanic to make a board game. Right, mm -hmm. and that's what's kind of cool about it. It's not just straight up. There are there are people out there that, for example, really don't like deck building games. Yeah, yeah, and they might like this one because right. the deck building portion of it isn't as lethal. Yeah. The box says this is an adventure. <laughs> deck is? building adventure. Well, yes. <laughs> the devices also are really cool. Your ability to to spend your money, let's say, to do something that isn't a card that's added to your deck. That's true. I didn't think they'd be that good. They're actually really good. Yeah, yeah. they're really good because mm -hmm. they, they keep your deck thin as well and get you back to, although mm -hmm. they also get you back to your stumbles, but... That's okay. I thought I got my deck too fat, actually. Yeah, I, I agree. I felt my, that kind of killed me I for getting out. In. I have too many cards in here. I yeah. thought I could get rid of some. I can't. Well, look at how thick Dave's deck is. Yeah, it's too many cards. Yeah. Did you sympathize, well, considering did you you sympathize with the points? Dragon Queen? Yeah. I did. I've right. mm -hmm. like, uh, taken her stuff. 64. Yeah, so you were super close. Yeah. Super close. You would have run away with it had you made it out. Yeah, but you, you did go you deep. You need to find that. You went really, me. really deep. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was nervous. You're a deep guy, Mike. <laughs> He's a deep guy. Well, thanks for teaching us, Dave. You're welcome. Yeah.